that should set a lot of young people's minds to work. Like, what can we do in our own lives? I mean, simple things like turning off lights and being more energy efficient and putting in, you know, more energy efficient light bulbs and just being more conscious of the impact we have on the earth. And then also banding together uh, and creating, you know, groups, empowered groups. I gave a speech uh, just uh, now at the university and I said, look, young people today have so much power that they don't exercise. You know, the connectivity that you have through the internet enables you to organize and speak out and be paid attention to. And if the environment is your issue, do it on that. Do it at a local level. If you see something that's about to happen that you think will destroy the environment, stand up about it. Do it on the national level. Uh, so I couldn't agree more that this is an issue for young people particularly. Yes. Well, this question is about your funniest um, experience you can, you can remember, the one you, yeah, that you laugh about yourself on your own. <laughs> oh, I laugh about myself <laughs> all the time. Uh, but, I, you know, I wanted to just mention how much I love coming to Mexico, and I've had so many fun experiences. I spent my honeymoon in Mexico, and my husband and I have come back to vacation in Mexico, so we've had wonderful times. And then, of course, coming officially when he was president, and now I'm coming back as Secretary of State. So when I think about um, having just a wonderful experience, I think often of those times in Mexico. And I, you know, look forward to coming back, you know, often, uh, both for pleasure and uh, on behalf of my country. Okay, cool. Now, uh, this is a music channel, so this is a music question. Uh, <laughs> if, what do you think about new musicians? Do you, do you have any in particular, any new band that you really like, that you enjoy it? Well, my idea of new and yours is probably like 10 or 20 years out of date. <laughs> I mean, if you look at my iPod, you'll be wondering, where's this woman been for the last uh, 10 years? Now, my, my daughter and her friends are really into new music, and she actually has uh, some young friends who are uh, musicians and trying to break in and all of that. But I, I don't know whether it's because the music that you enjoyed when you were young is the music that's like imprinted in your brain. Uh, you and I were talking about the Rolling Stones yeah. uh, before we started, and I, I know them, and you know, I, I remember the first time I saw them, cool. which so nice. was when I was in high school, <laughs> and they came to the United States. And, and you know, so for me, I mean, I listen to classical music when I work. I love classical music. It helps to keep me calm and gets my mind working. And then, you know, just for fun around the house, I sometimes listen to opera. I listen to sort of the oldies but goodies that uh, the 60s and the 70s were part of my growing up. And I, you know, I'm just, I, I don't really seek out new music so much anymore because I get so much satisfaction and, and joy out of listening to music that I love. Um, but you're in the new music business, so <laughs> you should tell me who should I keep my eye on. <laughs> we have to go. But uh, I would in, in order of my, my TV show, which is for women, five, five tips that you could give us to conquer a man. Oh, oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I believe in equality, so I don't think we want conquerors and conquerors. Okay, I think okay. we, want, yeah, sure. we want relationships of equality, of, you know, really uh, partnership and friendship as well as romance. I mean, that's the kind of lasting uh, relationship that you know, I've seen over the course of my life that really sort of stands the test of time. So, you know, I, I think it's, it's important, though, that, that, that you like the person you're with, okay. you know, and that you have a lot in common and uh, that you recognize. You know, sometimes people say, well, relationships are a 50-50 proposition. I think they're 100 and 100. Okay. I think you have to really invest in each other and in the relationship. But, you know, don't ask me for advice. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for uh, this interview. It's a pleasure to talk with you and everybody you. in Teleheat are really grateful for this time, so it's an honor. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you both and good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very thank much. You. Ya lo checaron, hermanos. Vamos a continuar con más. No le muevas, estás en Teleheat.